Okay, hello. Uh, this video is a, um, a tutorial on how to use my 5e framework for D&D in Map Tools. Uh, when you open up, your interface may be different from this. That's getting started. Uh, I included this um, tutorial here. Um, but I'm recording in video format just to explain. Um, I recommend that you use the interface like this. Um, monsters that blocks, uh, shared screens, um, notes in this corner, chat here, uh, um, selected and personated macros here, campaign macros here. If you are the GM uh, macros here, uh, GM macros here, or global if you are a player, or nothing if you don't want to use global macros. Um, because I made the, the dice rolls to look like, to stack vertically, so it's better than uh, putting it down here and using just a quarter of the screen and losing screen space. Um, so, uh, yeah, I designed this the fr uh, framework menu, this one here, the first button in the campaign um, window. If you're the GM, let's let me start a server, a local server, just so you can have, you can see how the player sees. Okay, this is the player screen. I will. Uh, differentiate it from the, the GM screen because let me see yeah the player screen will be without this bottom and top bars and the GM will be the more complete one so before the GM you will see this menu if you are a player you will see this menu uh, first, uh, let me explain the notebooks. The notebooks are this little window here. Uh, you can make as many as you want. If you click the menu, it will open a list with all the notebooks available or the option to create a new one. Um, um, I will explain uh, how notebooks work. You can drag any token. Let's make um, an information token like this. Uh, with it selected, you click um, and you have to um, own, own it or uh, somebody, somebody has to own it. Uh, and click new notebook. It will ask you to confirm. Okay, and it will create this macro over here called notebook. This will open uh, a menu, and you can click the plus sign to start editing uh, title content. You can save, it will save here, and you can click here to open your content. Uh, you can uh, use markdown syntax to uh, edit it.
and it will update. Uh, and you can cancel if you make a lot of changes. You can cancel it, it will not save, and you can delete. It will delete the just that entry. So if you have more than one, it will delete just that one. Uh, in the player menu, if you click notebooks, it will show the welcome one, the one I, I'm using to explain everything, and the new one. Uh, if, <coughs> if the player does not have ownership, it will not show for him. And uh, the same goes even for the DM. Uh, it will show it for the player, but not for the DM. Uh, but the DM can see it even if it's not showing the menu because he can click here and here. Other players will not be able to click because it's owned by other players. Enough about notebooks for now. Uh, there is also this basic rules PDF. It will show this window. Here you can find a link to um, the basic rules PDF in the Wizards of the Coast website. And the links direct you to the page. So you can have a shortcut there. You can ignore if you have your own source, like a physical book or D&D Beyond, you can use that and ignore this menu, but it's for new players to get started. Um, oh yeah, uh, the search tool, I made this um, search uh, tool to search for um, hey, items, spells, uh, features and monsters. So it's, if I if I write a mage, it, it doesn't even have to be a complete sentence. It will find everything that matches mage hand, um, mage armor, um, meta magic, or mage the monster, the NPC. Um, and the select map will open an um, interface that shows the maps you can you can open. So uh, it's the same as this one. Notice that the uh, the DM and the this villa is grayed here it is invisible to the players. So here it's gray. And if you were a player, it will show just the ones visible to the player. Uh, I, it's the same thing, I just made it so you, you can hide it and have more screen space if you are not using the, the Fog of War and other tools. Um, next, the player menu. So the player uh, can create a new character, level up a character, and that's it. Um, so to create a new character, I prepared this token. You can name it. Um, and from this menu, you could click in new character and it will open this uh, wizard. Uh, click next, uh, choose the one you want and you have to own it and it has to be set as PC. Click next 
uh, you can roll 46 and drop the lowest it will show this table with all the rolls and the ignored ones and these results are pretty good so I'm using them you can also use the standard array or uh, point by uh, what this is uh, maybe a bard I like bards um, so 16 16 um, 15 15 um, 9 14 choose a race um, the ones I included are just the the ones available in the in the um, SRD system S or system reference document yeah uh, there are available for free from the wizards of the, the coast website I want him to be... Uh, he's a bard, so it'll be a half-elf. So half-elves gain um, plus two in dexterity, in charisma, and plus one in two skills of your choice. Skills, um, attributes of your choice. So you're going to dexterity and constitution. Yeah. Um, um chill skills uh, I don't know three languages you can choose the background the um, SRD just allows uh, a collide so you, you can add your own or skip this step or or choose you you decide uh, choose your class choose if you want to have starting money or starting equipment I'm using starting equipment uh, you can also skip this step if you want a custom class or I don't know uh, arch officer um, choose make your choices um, And some classes have a subclass in, at, at level one, but doesn't. So just click next. And here are some final de details. You can leave it blank and fill later. Um, and some extra steps reminding you. And and you will have um, these character macros. Um, uh, I will cover them in a minute. Um, make a new new character level up. So, yeah, I will, I will cover the level up next later. Um, the, the GM menu. So the, uh, the options of, uh, the GM has a little more options than the player. Uh, they uh, they have the party menu. This will show this um, this window with all the party members. So just this player for now. Um, doesn't have a level because it has to uh, refresh. So now it probably. Yeah, level one. His name, he doesn't have an HP yet, so let's do it. Uh, three, eight, eleven. 
okay so here is the party menu uh, from here the GM can focus the character so if there is more than one you can click here to find the the one he is dealing with he can change the HP manually like he can change the gold or, or currency in general change the conditions so set him to dead or not hashtag dead change the XP and he can uh, um, distribute XP for example if I distribute 200 XP for the entire party huh it probably has to be updated I can I can fix this for the final version. So, oh yeah, yeah, it's updated. Uh, one hundred for each. Uh, if I have one hundred and one, it will not distribute equally. So it, what's going on? So it will distribute fifty fifty for each one and. One is lost. You can give it to whichever. I will explain things later. And same goes to gold. You can have uh, like some gold, a couple of electron, a couple of silver and copper. And you can distribute for some reason it's buggy and it will uh, strange okay I'll fix that um, also here you can see it distributed between two party members but if you have an NPC helping you can distribute with the NPC too, so uh, if you have 200 XP and one NPC helped, it will distribute just a third. Uh, from this menu you can create a pool too, so uh, you can ask if the players are back from a break for example, and in the player window it will prompt them uh, and when the player is back he can hit yes and the GM can check the results here um, the question can be whatever you want uh, can choose whatever mm, what else pool okay group sharing done settings yeah the GM will have the settings menu this will send him to the to the GM map where all the tokens, the library tokens are and from here you can manage all equipment equipments. you can check, read them, you can edit them you can remove them uh, you can add new ones
same goes for features uh, additional features that are channel divinity abilities uh, other invocations fighting styles meta magic and other stuff um, spells I don't have all of them yet but you can add new ones um, uh, change the role options so uh, if you want the GM roles to be public you can set to all um, but by default they are hi closed hidden if you want the PC output to be hidden or GM uh, send this to the, the GM and the player that is rolling or just the GM for whatever reason you can change here um, you can change the attributes for example for now we have the, the default 6 strength, dexterity, constitution, intelligence, wisdom, charisma you can add madness and it will be added here to the player but but let's not for now. You can also use the def click use defaults and it will reset to the default six. Um, you can change the default passive checks. So if you want, if you want to include investigation or let's let's keep it default for now. Mm. You can change what feats are listed. What languages are the default ones? Um, what races are available? So you can add human variant or subspecies of elves, or just use the SRD. Uh, same for backgrounds, just a collide for now. You can add Sage. I think I have Sage as one of the options, but whatever um, classes you can add new or edit the existing ones uh, add new subclasses the, uh, they should be a string um, list separated by commas uh, what class they get a subclass their hit dice their spell casting ability uh, you can delete the class um, equipment lists what are simple melee weapons simple ranged weapons etc um, same for spells you know, for now I just have the cantrips set but you can add them manually later uh, it shows all your players in all your maps so this uh, is useful because when you make a change in your character for example when it takes damage uh, if you move the, play the token to another map Um, it will show in both maps and one of them will be uh, if you change in one and not in the other one of them will be uh, not up to date so you can delete that or make the changes to the latest one and see where, where they all are Uh, you can also show the poll results, create a new one, manage your best diary. Like I have just a few for testing, but you can create more monsters. It is really easy. Uh, the versions, check the version of everything. Change the currency value, like 
how many how many silver to a electron etc uh, this is useful for the party party mean because this number is the sum of uh, all gold convert all currency converted to gold so it has to know how much each coin we um, waste uh, is worth um, select the starting map the one that when the players load they will go directly to that map um, and the welcome message uh, the this this message message up here you can customize it you can put your own rules here like what you allow what you don't allow what what table rules you use links to i don't know your your discord channel your um D &D beyond some campaign what's next player menu oh, yeah you can change you can check the what the players can see so this menu is exactly exactly the same as this one uh, you can use it the, to create a character for one of your players or if you want to have a dm player character you can do it from here um, and the, the gm has the new ping uh, pings are um, let me show so i made this this map i took from um, i took from uh, reddit subreddit battle maps battle maps from this user miss j maps uh, and i set vision previously since it's it takes a little time a little bit of time uh, so let me disable fog of war for now you can uh, I, I have these letters and numbers and you, and you can put them whatever and in this menu you can create a new pin oh wait a moment uh, let's give a name first like um, barn is, is this a barn that's what this is called barn. okay and then you go to new pin yeah okay it will create uh, it will make it invisible to players a little bit transparent and you create these um, these macros in the notes you can uh, you can add treasure for example 15 gold for whatever reason uh, add e items like custom clothes great um and experience points for the, the for uh, if there is a combat here or some kind of encounter uh you can even i don't know um and and add notes here uh three This will be set in the GM notes, uh, so the players will not be able to see anyway. Mm. Oh, and you don't need to add them with this menu. You can use this search tool. Uh, 
for example, they have a short sword, a short bow, whatever. You click move, select the target barn quantity, um, one bow. Why is it bugging? Okay, I will just update it to the 1.6 version, so maybe that, that has to do something. So let's add uh, her short bow, search word, okay. Uh, Oh, the bow is already there. It's just showing an error, but it is working. Um, let's say they have two of these. So it will show okay. uh, here two short bows, some gold. Okay, and you can send to hidden. It will send it to the hidden layer. You can click it and read the notes. Um, and oh yeah, and the pins. The pins will uh, also. have this uh, manage party link that will send the that will open the manage party and it will show the XP the, that the that pin has the gold and just that the experience and gold and you can distribute to the, the players and you can also Oh, it's already selected. That worked great. Huh. Did it work? Really? Yeah, it didn't distribute XP for some reasons. It's not working. Okay. It's almost working. <laughs> um, so that is pins. Next. NPCs, so you can create a new NPC by dragging a token and with, with it selected, click new NPC. It will convert uh, the I will ask if you want, you really want to do that, to that uh, token, and what NPC to add. So let's make a cobalt. So it will adjust its size, so it's a small now, and you create this stat block um, with all the stats for the cobalt. It will also check uh, its name, so if, if its name doesn't match the creature's name, it will show the creature's name under parentheses, but you can change cobalt, okay, and it will show just, just the name. You can also add a number, and it will still recognize as cobalt. You can click here to change oh, but and changes here will change all cobalts in all the game. If you want to change just well let's let me show it first. So I have cobalt one and cobalt two. If I change the armor class to for some reason, that's 14 because it has like 
actually. Um, so this one will also be changed. Maybe you want that, maybe you don't. If you don't want it to change, you can make it an ind independent. So for, for now they are linked to each other. They are the same creature. Uh, but if you come here and in creature's name you erase uh, the kobold entry this creature will be uh, its own its own creature so if you change it here for for shield this one will keep equal to the other kobolds Uh, also, the GM has uh, this show hide token, so you can hide them here. I said three, right? Okay. They'll be all here. Whatever. Doesn't matter. Um. What else? NPC, okay. Oh yeah, you can create a new NPC by uh, searching for it. Um, both. Oh, let's keep doing kobolds. And this uh, window is just a preview. You can not edit or use it anyway, but you can create token. And it will create a token in the in the one and uh, zero zero coordinate, invisible to the players, uh, ready to use. It's another way to add NPCs. Again, what else? GM menu, new NPC. Okay, next. The character sheet, okay, let's go to the player. Also, let me delete this one and this one. The character sheet is uh, made to mimic the original official DD um, sheet. Um, you can uh, you can click on the name of the fields. For example, strength. I can change. You can even add a formula: nine plus one, or or just like uh, charisma plus two, racial. Um, if you click on the number, you'll make uh, a skill check. Same goes for saves. If you click in the X or or little circle, you can change to proficient or expert. Uh, give it a bonus. If you give it a bonus, it will show in the the sheet a uh, little plus or if you give a penalty it will show a minus same goes for uh, skills you can this th th clicking the dex or the x 
will be the same you can change to proficient expert um, what attribute does it uh, is it based so you can make a acrob what is this acrobatics you can make a strength acrobatics check and it will show here it's not the default one so it will show in red uh, you can make it round down for jack of all trades since you are proficient there is no point in that but um, if you do it for everything else it will add it will change to a J and um, use half your proficiency as it should it doesn't have jack of all trades yet so we will get there um, this fields same thing if you click the name you will edit it um, same here you can oh, since he uses a leather armor 11 plus dex so you can write it here 11 plus dex and it will detect your dex and add it to your armor class same for initiative if you click the number it will roll the initiative if you click the text you can change it uh, same for background alignment class is a little bit different uh, if you click the name of the field you can add a new one so our chief is here level is what level he is right now oh, one. Wait, let's see archetype what archetype he is using i don't know if our chief sir have an archetype at level one so let's leave it blank i uh, don't know the it's nice probably six right and i don't know spellcasting ability i don't even know if they have one uh, and it will show here and if you click in the class you will edit it you can even delete one from here okay mm, same goes from for our personality traits ideals uh, It will. <laughs> this this shouldn't happen, but okay. Uh, if you add a new item, for example, an abacus, it it will show added one abacus. If you change the amount, it will show how many you added. Um, clicking on each item will show the description the, the player can remove from yeah, okay remove from the the equipment uh, table it uh, they can change some settings like give it a custom name it will show like this uh, use it on the offhand so it will show here the damage without the dexterity bonus uh, you can give a bonus attack or bonus damage if you have, have some kind of bonus um can move uh, if you click move you can send this item to other players if it's an item it will remove from your equipment if you have just one if you have like five and and transfer two items it will calculate the remaining and change the quantity here if it's uh, oh. 
if it's um, his ability or treat or uh, trait or feature and you move it will create a duplicate so it will not remove from your player and you can share share will will open in all players this shared window Uh, so the GM can show the players whatever he wants to show uh, and the players can so show the other players uh, oh, some something that they want to share uh, if you share another different thing it will replace the previous one so you don't have a hundred screen uh, windows flooding your screen. Uh, what else? Mm, oh yeah, um, you have resources. This one are different from uh, this. This doesn't exist in the official one. You can create a counter for resources. It will update, you can change it for a long or short rest, you can remove the, that resource. Um, buffs, you can create. I, I will explain this one and I will make a little combat situation. Uh, reaction, so you can see if the player used his reaction in this turn or not and conditions you can make him dead or charm it or clear um, so, um, death saves you can click here and it will add a success or a failure And if you click the dev save text, it will make a dev save. Uh, green is um, good. Oh, this guy is already alive. And red is bad, fail. Um, you can spend your hit, uh, you can roll your di hit dice, clicking in the number, or you can spend them here so i have 1d8 i spent it so i don't have well you can do whatever you want i you can have it like this and then you use it then you put zero here and it will show that you have none or it, it's just a new note you you use whatever however you want the attacks uh it will detect items that are weapons and what attribute to use so here they are here they are using dexterity because they are both finesse weapons so they can use dex to attack and you can click here to make the attack and here to roll the damage if it was a critical hit, you can roll crit, it will take this result and roll a dice and sum the result and here's your crit. Um, if you add another kind of weapon like great great X or whatever, it will see that it will detect that you don't have proficiency, so that's what the asterisk is meaning uh, and it uses strength so minus one uh, you can add proficiency changing it here weapon you can add uh, virtual weapons and now you're proficient or 
just um, rate x. So you are still proficient, even if you are not proficient with great weapons. Um, there are other weapons like long, long sword that that are versatile, so they will show the two hand damage and one hand damage. Mm. That's the character sheet. The description you can uh, you can change the parent appearance by putting a part right here. Um, or you can put, uh, enter enter a URL. Copy image address and paste it here, and it will show the image from the internet. Same for a symbol, you can change it here or paste an URL here. Uh, put your Age, high, etc. Write a backstory. Uh, it supports uh, Markdown, so so you can make bold text. You can make links. I will cover this later maybe depending on the length Addition, additional fits are the defined domains subject invocations fighting styles um, that parts do not have treasure is the just text you can write here and notes are um, are these notes um, the, the GM can can see an extra field the GM notes you can change it from here and it will update here but the player will not see it mm, spell casting okay uh, you can add spells by clicking in the number of the level um, what do bards have? light? Um, let's give him fireboat, I know bards don't have it but whatever uh, from here you can change what class or what's the source it may be from the class from the race like some races give uh, some spells like bar um, elves get a cantrip from the wizard spell uh, list um, and that that cantrip is based on intelligence so oh, the foe is the default for bards so you can change it here uh, can give bonuses and if it's prepared uh, this is a cantrip so you don't have to prepare but you can prepare spells here prepared spells let's let's give a level one spell uh, cure wounds healing word it's a bard spell it's prepared um, and that's it so uh, you can cast it from here and it will add your spell ability modifier 
uh, wow, two fours, nice. But uh, it the, the the framework will detect if it, what dice you need to roll, so it will show here in attacks and spell casting the ones that you use. So light, you can have a. DC, uh, let's see the dexterity saying we try to avoid the spell, so the, you can send this to the GM so he can make a dexterity saving throw to avoid the spell if he wishes. Firebolt, same thing, it detects that you have to make a spell attack, so you make a spell attack and then deal 1d10 damage. At higher levels, 2d10, so you can click here for higher levels. Uh, and same for healing word, you can cast it from here and it will find the rolls. It will also. Oh, yeah. If you don't have spell slots left it will remove from your attacks and spell casting even uh, if you have like level 2 spell slots but you don't have level 1 spell slots oh, it's not updating oh it's because it's okay. You have one slot available of level two and known from level one, but you can ha cast healing word at level two, so it will show here anyway. If you spend this slot, it will disappear, and if you have slots available here, not here, it will be back there. Um, you can also Click here to make a spell DC the same as here or spell attack the same as here. If you have if you are multi-classing it will show and it, it the multi-class uses another attribute like you are mage so you have intelligence. Uh, it will show a slash intelligence slash um, whatever the number should be here and slash the, the spell modifier attack bonus here. Um, that's it for spells. Oh, and um, I forgot to mention uh, features and traits. You can add add new ones here and the, you, you can say what the source is. So this one's a class feature because it's a bard uh, and it will show what a bard can do and at what levels. Uh, hit dice. It will roll plus constitution. Um, the flat value at level one. The money, starting money. If you use that that option instead of the items I choose. Um, and this one, for example, is uh, racial features. Oh, and he doesn't have a background because he skipped that step. So let's say he's a sage. Um, so I can add a feature here. Say, so, uh, what's the feature for sage? It's researcher yeah so here it is researcher it's a background feature feature so here it is this character is almost ready you just need personality and description uh, but I can use it already. Uh, why the gold is not working? 
Hmm. Okay, now it's working. Weird. Well. Hmm. Hmm. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And and the these these here. Let's go back. These here, up here, are the options for the player. But the GM has the edit option, so he can change anything, make it stronger or weaker. Uh, change the description, make a custom item. Uh, next, mm, spellcasting. Oh, yeah, it's that block. Uh, having a combat with this big ass window is not ideal. So the player can add open a stat block, doesn't be it should be this wide uh, I can even put it here and it uh, he will have access to even changing his attributes changing his hit points rolling initiative making skill checks saving throws skill checks uh, checking his features uh, his spell slots his his spells uh, spell attacks ability his weapons um, only the equipped weapons will show up, so if he unequip the ones that the ones that he doesn't need, it will it will disappear from the attacks and spell casting and so will disappear from actions uh, resources same thing reaction um, inspirations you can change it here buffs conditions and notes the GM will see GM notes here too um, oh and from the stat block you can open your character description and spellcasting sheets and you can share so the GM will see the shared, uh, sh shared window and the other players too um, but they cannot edit anything um, stop block uh, next other macros, yeah. Um, so the GM can edit these macros, but the player, the player can't. So these are generic dice rolls without any attribute to them. But the player can drag this to, and the player cannot edit, but they can drag to the to the to anywhere that they can it so selection the token that they own or um, the global macros And you can edit it here, like uh, to the six, um, pink. Uh, pink is not a color. Um, fuchsia, fu fu this color. Uh, 
Uh, there you go. Uh, or, or here. Mm, one day, one hundred. Um, gold. Is gold a color? No. Hello. <laughs> yeah, great. I can read that. Oh, and notice how the T one hundred is two D tens. If you if you write any other number like the nineteen nine, it will show a D twenty. But well, on the two, it will show the three, the the four. <laughs> And other macros are um, elevation. So if you if you are using elevation, you can add you click the lf plus, and it will show down here in the this little pop up window elevation five. If you click again ten. So it's in feet and it increases by five each, each time you click and it can even go negative. So you can give an advantage to someone who has the gri higher ground, like Obi Wan. Um, lights, you can. Uh, I will I will explain lights later when we are using. Uh, um vision vision uh, but you can show range so if this if you want to throw a dagger you can see its range so you can put it here 20 range and 60 maximum and here you have your attack range so anyone in this circle, you can make an attack roll. Anyone in this circle, you make the attack with disadvantage. To make, I didn't explain advantage right. So when you make an attack, oh, dagger. This is the roll. That is the first roll, the one, the default one. But if you are making a, a roll with advantage. It will show here. This one was the highest roll, so that makes no difference. But if uh, I was rolling with disadvantage, this would be the the roll. Um, so yeah, that's it. What other macros do we have? Elevation, light, and range. Well, let's give a quick look at. This one, you can have a square range. It's the normal one for the rapier, for example. Or you can have a ten square for the lens or live or any pole arm. Um, and the round ones for longbow. Look at this. I think this is one. This is the long ball, but whatever. A light is the you can attach a light source to your token. What else? Notebooks. Um, so I will cover. Uh, let, let's make a new notebook quickly. So this this is a notebook. You can, I, as I explained, it create a new note and save, and it and it will show up like this. Um, you can share it. 
players will see it, but they cannot edit. And you, they will see just that page. Uh, you can use markdown syntax. So one pound sign for a title. Then you can add text. Blah, blah, blah. And if you want, if you just skip a line and add more text, it will not uh, detect the line break. For that, you can use two spaces and it will register a new line. If you add a blank line between text blocks, you make a new paragraph. Uh, if you use one um, asterisk, you make you make it italic. If you add two, you make it bold. If you add three, you make it italic and bold. You can make links. So um, link. Link uh, this will be the text and then parentheses. I think you have to have um, what's the wizards? I don't remember. So you have a link. You can have an image with exclamation point. Uh, you can leave it blank and put the URL here, and it will ugh, show your image. It's kind of big. Okay, um, but you can have a custom size like uh, 300, so it's more manageable. You can add an alt text, so So when you hover it, it will show this little text, and you can make. Let's make it a little bit smaller, and it can be. You can have a link to it. So when you click it, you open the higher resolution. Uh, you can add a horizontal line that will show like this. You can add more, it will make no difference. You can have uh, block quotes. You can have code blocks. You can have even tables, um, numbers. This is how you make a table. quotes are like this, code blocks are little boxes, and tables will display like this. Uh, 
there is also settings uh, for CSS themes so for now I'm using this github flavor te uh, theme you can change it to DND so it will have the DND colors serif text these quote blocks that have these lines thicker on the lines on the sides this green text box the tables are in this style um, there are other themes metals is the one uh, with metal colors um, and map to dark for, for a, a easier on the eye theme uh, and that's it for notebooks um yeah yeah that's it for notebooks for now mark down syntax so let's cover more notebooks <laughs> uh, I was already covering some of the syntaxes uh, oh yeah the, the titles don't, doesn't have to have one um, one pound sign you can have up to six so They will display like this. The higher the number, the smaller the the, the thing. And other teams, other teams have different um, look to them. This one, the sixth, is on the right. This one I like to use for, for table titles. Um, and so on. <laughs> mm. <clears throat> oh yeah, you can have lists, numbered lists. Mm. You can skip characters. Align tables in the center, right. Make checkboxes, but they won't update, so you have to edit and add a little X here. Uh, and you can make links to to things on the. the database so if you want to, to link uh, a cobalt cobalt uh, this 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 field can be whatever so yep, yep, the grave um then you write here uh, key and pc and between uh, quote marks you will write both save so when you this will create a link and you when you click it it will show the cobalt um, stat block you can do the same for uh, items so item Um, spells spells are organized by level so if you write level 3 fireball it will show here the fireball so but if you if you get something wrong like level 2 
it will no not, it will not know what to do so or if you write like this it will also not know so it must be capital F fireball this text can be whatever mm. you can also link to features like um, or, uh, let's say wizard and here's the wizard tables and options you can also have links to base roles so role 1d6 and it will roll it here uh, you can draw you can add numbers to this row so it will include these you can make attack rolls so you, you write to hit um, for and it makes a plus for each attack and um, attack roll if advantage or disadvantage or normal <coughs> so uh, I think yeah this this is oh yeah you can you can also okay enough of um, notebooks you, <coughs> you can also from this settings window as I explained it earlier there is this all, all these are all the equipment uh, loaded in the in the um, um, framework you can what is settings oh yeah settings will open the settings window back in case you need it you can export to some place the place must exist first oh, let me. Oh, this should be I should blur that probably uh, so if if you somehow manage to lose it what did I just equipment so if I come here and delete this field you will see that you have zero equipments so you have to add everything manually ah, no. so, so you can import this by selecting everything copying and hitting import and pasting it here and here you have all your new items from the from this file and you can keep the old ones you can use this to send your custom items to someone or make uh, items from campaigns like uh, out of the abyss or into the avernus I don't remember <laughs> the titles um, same goes for bestiary you can lose these for some reason or in part from some other players or some other campaign 
Um, okay, that's everything about the system. So uh, there is also these two um, tokens that I will explain a little in now in a while. So the players, I recommend that they keep their characters here in the start um, map so if you wanna start a uh, combat you can go to the to a map let's say it's it has fog uh, so when you hit this button here move tokens it will copy all the tokens from the start uh, map and paste them here. Here you can place them like here for example. And then let's let me make it like this. Um, so I need the initiative, then selected. That's it for the player, so I can take a little bit less space. Um, so the GM can hit the set map button and it will change the map from all players. Um, maybe the map should be visible. Player visible so not players can see it you click set map yeah and it will set to all players then you can click expose fog and it will show to the player what his character is seeing so he will move move here and you, you expose fog he will move here expose fog Uh, oh, and by the way, this map is set to night. Oh, it has dark vision. That's that's why. Um, so let's say, and if you hit reset fog, it will reset and show just. Well, you show nothing and then you hit expose fog again so it shows again what the players can see. You can go to the object layer. Uh, this one this map is using um, vision blocking. So that's why uh, you can see everything and these parts are blocked. So the player says, I wanna open this door. Okay, you open the door and expose. And he can see this. Let's say th these walls are just half half height and this cobalt is hiding. So he can see. So he comes in. I'll come to this spot. Okay, expose, and now you see three kobolds, they ambush you, roll initiative, so, so he does, he roll initiative, let me show the GM chat, uh, let's, let me show like this, 
because I will need the cobbles stat blocks. So here's cobalt one, two, and three. Uh, you can uh, just the GM will see this text here, so the players can't. You can you can click set initiative, and it will take this number and put it in the initiative tracker. Same for the goblin uh, cobalts. Set initiative. Set initiative. Oh, come on. <laughs> Finally. Set initiative. Uh, well, uh, I think that at this point. Oh yeah, you can. You can check. Okay, cobalt two. This one will make an attack. You can see if it's in range. Of course, it is. So he attacks with a dagger. Um, it hits because Bob's armor class is fourteen. So you roll the dice. Five. He took five damage. And it's all he's almost dead. Um, but I started this combat so I could show these tools. Well, let's grab the light. So light. You can add a torch and place it. Uh, you can also click in snap to grid to stop snapping. You can also do it here, but uh, I think I adding a macro would be quicker. You can place it like here, for example and set it to torch so it will um, illuminate this area uh, and uh, this one is for for spells like a fireball or that have, um, let's say, this character is casting fireball, if he had, is a bird, I know, 150 feet range, so, this is his range, um, uh, 20 foot radius, Flame Sphere. So we get this spell. 20 foot. So you can he can cast a fairy ball anywhere like here to here or whatever. You can even cast it here. So it will hit these little dudes and that's how you use this framework I guess am I missing something I guess not I explained the pins. Uh, 
Oh, you can. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's that's um, something I should mention. When you are. Hmm. Oh, where is that notebook? Did I delete it? Really? Oh, yeah, I did. Of course. Okay, let's see. You can uh, you can prepare your adventure here. Um, the bar. Uh, you can even link the codes in the NPC code in the bar. Um, So um, let's go back to full screen. So you have the barn here. Ah, it's one. So it, there's the barn. Here's a little quick description. You can oh you can add a link to that pool. So um. Okay. Mm, one point space barn at uh, country my user is maps save. So this link will focus and select the barn the the pin uh, so you can check the notes here uh, with the experience the items everything um, so you can have other other pins for number two, three, four, um, and quickly focus them here without needing to change to hidden and select. So they will be select selected even if you are in the token layer. Um, and so in the format is the name of the token you want to link at the name of the map that it is in so if you remove it from this map it will not work anymore so it will only work in that map. That being said, you can change its location and it will keep tracking the right place. Mm. And you can also link to notebooks. Um, if you don't know how to is this ML work? Check with getting started. Um, note. And you, you write here a uh, note. The key is the the page that you want to link. So getting started at and the name of the journal. Um, 
welcome. So if you click here, it will get you to the to the one that you name it, and that's finally everything. Oh yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. Never mind. Yeah, I was going to talk about uh, how you can use um, these doors, but this is um, map tools resources that you can find in the tutorials and forums etc uh, I hope this video isn't extremely long one hour yeah it's extremely long thank you for watching um, and, uh, one last thing that I forgot to mention um, handouts you can use this page to place oh, come on oh no 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 I want to delete this one um, you can place a, a, a handout and name it image uh, And now it is, it is searchable. So if you search sword post, it will show here and it will open this pop up. Let me go to the player window. So you can share it and the players will have this shared window just like any other shared option or you can show it full screen uh, full screen no, not but in the native resolution uh, but different from the other searchables if you write just some Part of the title, like sword, it will not show uh, in the results. That's a limitation. So it shows the other words, but if you want the image, you have to write everything. Now. No, that's all. Um, I also forgot to mention if you need maps there are great ones in this subreddit and these oh, oh yeah th these drawings I made myself so And even and even this one. So thanks for watching. And now it's even longer than before. Um, I forgot to mention yet again um, how to level up. So here's this level one bard. If I go here uh, and level up, I can select it and take a new BART level. Next, next, uh, new hit points. I can roll change it later or roll right here. Oh, yes, one, three. So he has 15 hit points, 11 was his old one, 3 is the, his... <laughs> I forgot how well have I rolled. 
and this amazing one. Um, and finish. So here is our level level two bard. Uh, it now has jack of all trades, so you can add half of your proficiency bonus rounded down. So all the skills he does not have proficiency have this J. If he was a champion, it uh, he would have get remarkable athlete that rounds up so oh but it doesn't change the ladder so pay attention to that if you're making a bard fighter champion so I can keep oh yes and the, uh, he got wait some of rest isn't a uh, short span oh I thought that what this was um limited use, but apparently it isn't. Um, so okay, let's level him up. Level up him again. <laughs> it's not, not that. Level up. Choose your character. Choose your class. Um, at level 3 he get expertise, so these skills are the ones he's already proficient, are these ones. Uh, let's say performance and persuasion, so the, he will get double proficiency. And at third level you choose a college for a bard. So the only one available is College of Lore. Hit next. As a College of Lore you can choose three more skills. Is this is this right? Oh there is no bard here. Where's there Sir D? Is this really right? In traditions, spellcasting, fighter, cleric, um, bard, 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 <coughs> bard, jack of all trades, bard college, treasure skills. Wait, this is wrong. Do you just treasure skills? Multi-score improvement. Yeah, I need to fix that. This is too much. Oh. Yay, twenty-one hit point. Okay, yeah, this definitely needs to be fixed. He doesn't have this. Right? Expertise. Bard College. Oh no, I. College of Lore. Oh, he. Oh no, he, he do. Yeah, this is right. Oh, but I don't want these three. Let's make um deception. Uh, history. And then Darkana. And these ones are the ones he's expert. He's an expert persuasion, persuader, and performer. Uh, let's say 
you want to make him, you want to make him a multi-class character. So you hit level up, next, and you choose another class. Let's see what's what a uh, wizard maybe it's because. Wizards use intelligence, so I can show um, I can show spellcasting with other attributes. So he's not a wizard. He has wizard spellcasting and arcane recovery. So in his spellcasting feat, he'll have his bard slash wizard and charisma slash intelligence listed here. So if he has healing word from bard and um, Fireball. <laughs> Wait, no, I'm pretty sure I have Firebolt. Something first level. Oh, yeah, I have Firebolt, it's here. So, this, this Firebolt is from Wizard. And this healing word is from Bard. This light is from Bard too. So when you go to the stat block, you know, when you go to the character, the attack from the fireball firebolt will be plus four from this bonus from the wizard class and the healing word doesn't have any but if <laughs> if it was from bard it will show plus six but since since it's from wizard it shows Plus four. Uh, if you level up again, level up, level up, level up. And you pick a class that is not a spellcaster, like a rogue. You choose one and stealth. Thirty HP, yay! I think I forgot to do it for wizard class, but whatever. Um, now he has all these classes. If you want to remember what's your college, it's here um, or here, College of Lore. But if you go in the spellcasting, it will only show the classes that are spellcasters. If in the future you get um, arcane trickster, level, at level 3, you gain intelligent spellcasting, and then suddenly you are wizard, barge wizard rogue, but the rogue uses um, intelligence, just like the wizard, so it will show charisma slash intelligence. If you multi-class again, therefore, and choose to be a sorcerer warlock, let's get some HP, one, yeah, great. 
amazing it will um, show bard wizard rogue warlock but just charisma charisma no this is wrong uh, I need to fix well yeah I need to fix that but let's see you level up again and you go back to bard at level 4 you get a two more skill attribute points they can be in the same or different ones or you can choose a feat if you choose a feat you will ignore these numbers and choose a feat the SRD only allows Krabbler but you can add a new one let's get Krabbler just for example and now you are let's get some HP please number bigger than one yeah two is bigger than one 39 great this makes me happy and here you have it you are a grappler now it requires at least 13 strength so you are not a grappler <laughs> But the level upper uh, menu detects all, all you need to, to level up and applies that. And now we are finally done. Thanks for watching. Uh, I forgot one more thing true actually uh, if you have a creature where the hell if you have a oh, cobalt or not, not not even yeah yeah, 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 cobalt. If you have um, I'm, I'm tired. Raise token. So you have this cobalt here, and you don't want to change anything in the cobalt on the other cobalt. So you raise this. Okay. You can change things here. Never, never mind. Let's create a, a monster from scratch. So you have this creature here, this token. You hit new pin. Okay. Oh, no, it's not a new pin. See, I'm tired. Um new npc okay add new yeah how is it getting switched oh well it worked it shows an error message but it worked okay um so this is a blank creature it has no information you can uh, change some uh, let's say it's um let's let's get a creature from the SRD let's say it's um ancient silver dragon cool Where is it? Here. So let's say this is an ancient silver dragon. Let's change its name. 
Uh, ah, you are still called Dragon. You can change its name here. It's a cool, cool silver dragon name. Um, 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 Adam, Adam and Bob. It's a female right? dragon. So Alice is an ancient silver dragon. Mm. It's size is pregnant one. Mm, nice. Uh, but this is the size of this token. So you so if you want the creature to be Gargantuan, you get it here. So if you make a new one, it will already be Gargantuan, you don't have to adjust the size. It's a dragon. Uh, it's a lawful good dragon. Lawful. Lawful. Good. It has an armor class of 20. points um this so it will detect the dice scroll here so if you want a custom stop floating no keep floating stop docking So if you want to have a custom HP, you can do it here. This is the default one, and this one is the the one you were using. Three, four, three, nine. Okay. So it's this is the one I'm using. This is the default speed. Paste. Um, strength thirty. Dex ten. Oops. Ten. Con twenty nine. Int eighteen. Wisdom fifteen. Charisma twenty three. Um, it, oh, s there is only senses, languages, and challenge, but there is some more in the stat block. So you go to settings, it has saving throws, it has skills, it, uh, it has damage immunities, and just that. Skills, you can copy paste this. Oh, this. Wait, it has saving throws too, so... What? Where are... Saving throws? Oh, come on... It's broken... No... <laughs> well... I'll fix it before releasing... Damage immunities... Cold... Senses... Blind sight... Dark vision... Passive perception... Okay, languages, challenge, no, um, <coughs> yeah, it has this feature, so I, I, I will go to features, it is the only one, yeah, 
and paste it here. Ah, oh, great. Thank you, SRD, for placing everything in a single line. Where is the monsters? Monsters. Red Dragon. Oh, seriously? Okay, let's make an adult silver dragon. Where are you? Adult. I'm sorry. You have to watch this. Okay, here, here. Yeah, let's speak other languages. Okay, you are not. You are now an adult red dragon. Oh, come on. You are not gargantuan anymore. You are now huge. Let's change it here too. You are huge. Let's get your legendary resistance. So it's um, bold and italic. Okay. So here we have a feature. I will not change the rest because it doesn't matter. Now we, it has action, so you come here, actions. It's called actions, and you paste all of these. You can use your keyboard shortcuts to make it quicker. Claw. Tail. Oops. Tail. Fightful presence. Presence. Fire breath. <coughs> okay. Mm, okay. Mm. Oh, come on. It's not working, I hate it. Uh, let me try put it in the DM page actions test. It is not. 
and I don't know why if it was a old could I change the cobalt okay actions test okay yeah this works why you don't work test why yeah this adding you doesn't work it must be some bug uh. Well, this sucks. I hate betas. Although it's not beta anymore. Oh, it was alpha and it is now beta. Well, I was explaining how to um, change NPCs, but I was also going to explain playing something else that I forgot what it was okay never mind then we will you will never see this video as soon as I